Uh, continuing with treatments for dystonia that I have tried <laughs> or used um, as far as prescription drugs. Um, in the summer of 2016, my husband and I worked for the same company. Uh, I recommend not doing that. <laughs> Because then you could lose your jobs on the same day. Um, so we lost our, our management jobs. Um, and lost 70% of our income. And have not been able to find um, jobs like that again. Um, so it sucked. Anyway, we uh, decided... That I should maybe consider, uh, no, not maybe, but that I should start seeing um, a neurologist again just um, to monitor me, uh, you know, see me once a year, kind of just um, keep touch base once a year because um, currently uh, there's only through a few neurologists where I live. So it took five months to even get in with one. Um, since I was considered a new patient, so, uh, and, uh, they're very overworked and don't have time to really spend with people that might want a little more time. I think I saw him twice and he saw me, he probably spent about 30 minutes with me total. So we decided to look into neurologists, neurologists, that's a hard word with somebody with speech problems and dystonia, you know. <laughs> anyway, we decided to seek a neurologist um, in another area a few hours from us. And uh, I keep a notebook, uh, a medical notebook that I started when I was diagnosed with dystonia. So every, I've seen nine neurologists. After I stop seeing every neurologist, I call and get every copy of anything they have in my file. And I have copies of the five MRIs. So I keep this notebook and bring it to me to every appointment. <laughs> like the one that I saw here where I live, he didn't even look at it. <laughs> he didn't have time. Uh, but the neurologist I saw in the other town, I, uh, I took my notebook and I was so thrilled when he actually looked through it and actually flagged pages that he wanted copies of <laughs> and had his nurse come in and take them. There were probably about 10 or 12 pages uh, of stuff that he took from the last, I think probably back to 2000 seven I think he took um and then a copy of my the most recent recent MRI he had her get a copy of that so I was thrilled I was like oh I'm not wasting my time um so anyway uh he because I had said everything said cervical dystonia cervical dystonia cervical dystonia but since it had moved to my right foot and my left eye that I was having problems and then it also started with my left shoulder he's like you're you know generalized dystonia uh, cervical is just the neck you've got other things going on I'm like you know what that's what I thought the last six or seven years <laughs> so anyway um he spent about probably an hour with us that first visit actually every time I see him he spends about 45 minutes to an hour and I do see him once a year. Um, he said, unfortunately, not let, not much has changed as far as treatments. Nothing new, really, to try. Uh, but he did want me to, to try the generic form of Artane again. Um, so, I believe I started, I, I tried it. Um, it made me sick to my stomach. Uh, 
not like I was going to throw up, but the feeling you get, like, you're just sick to your stomach and you don't want to eat or anything. Um, so I did it. I don't know. I probably took it for about a week. And then I was like, screw this, because, like, I wasn't eating or anything. It was, I felt terrible. So I stopped doing it. And uh, I was supposed to see him again. And then I, or call him. So I was going to try it one more time and then see you know if it went any differently but in that process somewhere in there i broke my right femur um whoever says whoever created the same the saying break a leg obviously never broke a freaking femur because let me tell you it was hell it was hell it retell on my dystonia. Um, with my dystonia, a lot of... I never have people ask about it. I really don't. People that, you know, I eventually tell, they just... They don't ask anything about it, which... I don't know. I guess people feel weird about asking about medical... Medical? medical? I don't know. Um, anyway, when I busted my femur, I had never done so much educating on dystonia. To people medical people people that you would think I guess you wouldn't think they had heard of it I don't know but people that had never heard of it so much educating um, on it uh, the ambulance the EMT that guy that came out here and would you know gave me the good drugs to get to the hospital and everything he was very interested in it um, so anyway